Clark here. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. If you or someone you know has diabetes, you're in the right place. This is the most important video you will ever watch. You are about to discover how you can manage your A1C and create a happy, healthy, productive life while living with diabetes. The goal? To be a global, comprehensive resource for diabetics. This journey will be a one-stop resource for diabetics needing solutions to managing the beast, diabetes. Managing diabetes is everything otherwise diabetes manages you. Here's why this can be a breakthrough moment for you. I'm a diabetic. Like you, I've faced diabetic struggles. I've been frustrated, hopeless, lost, and alone. I searched for information. There was no system, no to-do list. Where were successful diabetics sharing information? There needed to be a resource. I had so many questions. Why me? How does it change my life? Can I find a cure? What will my husband think? Will I be able to be a great mom? Will I be able to be a great wife? How does it affect my job? Can I still eat out? How will this affect my life? And the question that terrified me the most, what will I be able to eat? I struggled for months. Were others feeling the same way? Were others having the same questions? Were others looking for answers? I needed to do something, but what could I do? And I have to admit, there was a small part of me that wondered, could I create a completely new platform? A comprehensive one-stop resource to share information? So I made a decision, yes. I'll start a community for diabetics. I will find answers and I'll put all the information in one place. Together, we'll learn the how-tos of living with all aspects of diabetes. Then I'll share it with the world. I'll explain more, but first let me share my story. Just three short years ago, I couldn't get control of my A1C and my life depended on it. I was 53 years old when I was blindsided by my diagnosis. I was stunned. I had no health issues, no family history. I couldn't believe it. My life was moving along like any normal person. I was enjoying my job, my family, and pretty much decent health. Sure, I was overweight, about 40 pounds, but that had always been a struggle. I'd lose five, gain seven, lose 10, gain five, up and down, up and down. That was a yo-yo routine. It all began Friday, June 4th, 2012. I felt pressure in my chest and tired. Ignoring those feelings, yikes, I continued through the day. That evening, while enjoying a movie at the local theater with my hubby, the sensation became unbearable. Before the movie ended, we made a mad dash to the emergency room. After a couple hours of waiting and testing, the doctor came in with the results. I'll never forget her words. Elaine, your heart is fine. But please always tell us when you arrive that you're a diabetic. For a moment, I was certain she came in the wrong room. Immediately, I told her I was not diabetic. Then she told me, Oh, my dear, you most certainly are. Your body is screaming diabetes. Then I saw the results. Blood sugar 416. A thousand units of sugar in my urine? My body was screaming diabetes. I never imagined this journey would take me through five doctors in just three short years. You have to read on. This is life-changing. After my emergency room visit that Friday evening, Monday I found myself sitting in my family doctor's office. She would be doctor number one. She did only two things, prescribed an Rx for me to take, told me to get a blood sugar meter, then sent me home. From the little I knew, diabetes was a huge disease, a terrible disease. A meter and a pill? That's it? I couldn't accept this. I'd never taken an Rx on a permanent basis. And how did I go from good health to the death sentence of diabetes? I'll tell you a secret. I got the meter, but I didn't fill the script. I had no intentions of taking it. Clearly, something wasn't right. My antenna went up. Doctor number one, you're fired. I made the decision to see a specialist, an endocrinologist. I asked around and took a re recommendation from a co-worker. This would be doctor number two. This endocrinologist seemed like a good guy, part of a reputable group, and after all, my coworker had been seeing him for years. Never take a recommendation from someone who doesn't have control of their own diabetes. 
I won't bore you with Dr. Number Two's appointment. It was much like Dr. Number One. Because diabetes has no cure, I was getting the feeling. Diabetics get shoved into a box, the one-size-fits-all treatment box. A few days after my pointless appointment with doctor number two, my antenna went up again. For several years, I'd been working with a wellness doctor. He called and wanted to see me as soon as possible. I went in that very afternoon. He had done labs for me a few weeks earlier. I had a dangerously low level of iron and, wait for it, no C-peptide levels. Yikes! I had none! Nada! Zero! All the lab results Dr. Two saw had also revealed this. And yet when I saw him, he never mentioned it. Did he not see it? Was he even paying attention? That's a detail that really matters. This was beyond scary. C-peptide levels are unbelievably important. That meant I was not a type 2 diabetic, like Dr. 1 and 2 were treating me. It meant I was a type 1 diabetic. I needed insulin now. Thank goodness my wellness doctor was alert and called me. My hands were shaking. I was angry. I immediately called Dr. Number 2. I told him to please check my labs for C-peptide levels. After hearing him shuffle papers around for what seemed like an eternity, he says... Hmm, uh, well, let's talk about it when you're in the office again. Now I was furious. I just had an appointment with him. I wouldn't see him again for three more months. I knew immediately he's clueless. Doctor number two, you're fired. I went online since asking around didn't fare well and found a large group of doctors associated with a reputable hospital. I went through the hoops again of getting the referral and got an appointment. Doctor number three immediately got me using insulin and things seemed to be going well. I so wanted this guy to be the one, the one who could help me, the one who could keep me well. And I really wanted to get back to the life I enjoyed. Sadly, that was not the case. Little things set my antenna back up. Little things like waiting 50 plus minutes to see him. That's a good sign he's packing us in to keep his income up. Little things like in silence watching him review my tests and telling me, keep up the good work. Good work? I have no clue what I'm doing. Was there a conversation? He wasn't asking me questions. He was spending less than 10 minutes with me and making me feel rushed. For goodness sakes, this is my life, my health. This isn't right. Did he forget? I have diabetes. My antenna went up again. This is exhausting. Doctor number three, you're fired. It's no wonder I spent the first nine months struggling. I couldn't even find a doctor who was competent. I've never had diabetes. I have no clue. Sure, I had adjusted some things to pretend I was working on my diabetes. I was being very careful with my diet and nutrition. I started walking 30 to 45 minutes every single day. I started to lose weight. I started to feel better. My friends were noticing, wow, Elaine, you look great. But good things weren't happening. My A1C was going up. It's the truth serum to know if your diabetes is really under control or not. I knew I was missing pieces. I knew I was missing the chance to work with an expert. An expert who could guide me with the experience and expertise of diabetes. Feeling hopeless and frustrated, I turned to my wellness doctor, doctor number four. I knew looking back, this was my mistake. I lied to myself thinking, well, he is an MD and he is up on the latest and blah, blah, blah. I'm amazed at how easily I lied to myself and how I needed to believe those lies. I was exhausted. Doctor number four, we wandered around together for nearly a year. Doctor four is a great guy. I know he did his best to advise me, but let's face it, he was not a diabetes specialist. Even though I knew this, I just felt too exhausted to look again. I knew I needed to, but the path of least resistance was so much easier. Even with my own best efforts, trying to eat less carbs, walking every day, losing those 40 pounds on purpose in about nine months, I was struggling. I was doing everything I knew without expert medical supervision. When you do the labs and get those A1C results, that's reality. Were all the changes I made in my diet and adding exercise helping? Yes, but no. 
This confirmed my hunch that I had to be missing something. I was losing ground with my health. Every time I did labs, it verified I was losing the fight. My A1C moved from 10 at my ER diagnosis to 11.8 to 12.3. Whoa, now that's an attention grabber. I panicked. I was slowly drowning and I could see it happening. Doctor number four, you're great, but you're fired. Are you experiencing these emotions? Frustration, anger, depression, no hope? Denial, overwhelmed, isolated and alone, self-pity? If you can relate, join me. Let's change your life too. I had given up hope. I was lost in self-pity, the woe is me syndrome. Even though I'm married to a wonderful husband, I felt isolated and alone. Even though I had supportive friends, I felt isolated and alone. And as much as people try to understand, they just can't. We need each other. We need a community of people who share the same struggles. We need a community that shares solutions. Since I had no solutions, I tried to avoid all the emotions that came along with my struggle. I was a wreck. I realized I was not alone in my struggle. Most people struggle too. Unfortunately, we tend to settle for whatever we can get. But you don't have to struggle and you don't have to settle. You can learn from my experience. Take my hand up and start living a happy, healthy, productive life with diabetes. Overcoming my denial was definitely worth the effort. Doctor number five's a winner. While I was waiting for an annual bone density scan, I struck up a conversation with the tech. I don't recall how it came around to me being diabetic. She got this huge smile and said, you should see my husband's doctor. He's amazing. She explained he was also a struggling diabetic, struggling for more than 15 years. This doctor has turned his life around. His A1C is finally under control. All those years of struggling without success and now he's able to manage his A1C. This is exactly what I needed to hear. Taking a recommendation from someone who's getting results. Now that's a smart decision. I didn't hesitate. I immediately made an appointment. Yet I still didn't know what to ask this guy. Finding a great doctor is like getting a great gift, yet not knowing how to use it. This appointment changed everything for me. Doctor number five spent over an hour with me, 80 minutes, and I learned so much in the 80 minutes. He asked me questions. He mentioned terms I'd never heard before. I learned what questions I should have been asking. Asking those questions would immediately identify doctors who know their stuff or not. This guy was on it. Seeing a true specialist and an expert is absolutely life-changing. Now I have direction. I'm doing things that, yes, after nearly three years, I have never heard of doing. Having a knowledgeable endocrinologist working for me allowed me to reaffirm my decision to live a great life and manage my diabetes, not the other way around. I'm on track. Life is great. I look forward to my appointments. I love that Dr. Number 5 engages in discussions with me. He spends time with me. He answers my questions. No rushing in and out. I can see his commitment. This is the way the relationship should be. He's vested in my health and well-being. When the student is ready, the teacher will appear. Timing is everything, and I was so ready. The struggles and frustrations, learning, trying, failing, retrying, out of it all, came goodness. The goodness in developing strategies that help to improve the quality of my life with diabetes. It's definitely been a trial and error process. I'll shout this from the mountaintops. Learn from my journey! Leveraging my trials and errors can change your life. As you navigate your journey, let's walk together. Are you ready for your breakthrough moment? Just one of the many exciting pieces here for you. I'm just like you. I too am trying to learn to live with diabetes. I've created a diabetes community where we can learn together and be well together. I'm not a medical professional. I'm just a normal person who struggles with diabetes. I'm not a doctor, not a nurse, not a nutritionist, not even trained in the medical field. I am just a person like you with diabetes. I share your struggles and I share your frustrations. And I want to share information. So what does all of this mean to you? 
everything. Education equals knowledge equals power. Knowledge empowers us to create better lives. You have the opportunity today, right now, to empower yourself to create a better life. You have the opportunity to be a part of a global comprehensive resource. A place to find answers, a place to learn from experts, a place to learn from other diabetics, a place where you can share. A place with hope, and hope changes everything. What am I proposing for your breakthrough moment? Join now and start thinking, I can. Information, community, advantage, never-ending resource. You'll learn about endocrinology, cardiovascular, optometry, dentistry, podiatry, fitness, sleep, skin care, nutritionist carb counting, diets, recipes, weight management, alternative medicine, and so much more. This community, by joining now, you have instant access to a community of like-minded people. People who share your struggles and frustrations. People looking for a better way. We all like to win. A winner finds a way to change adversity into advantage. Living with diabetes is not a death sentence. There is a way to live with joy. You'll learn how to make your journey easier and be a part of something big. Become an innovator who shapes the future for diabetics. Now it's your turn. I think you'll agree you and I are most likely experiencing the very same issues. The very same struggles and frustrations with living with diabetes. How I wanted to find someone like me, someone walking this journey with diabetes. Remember when the student is ready, the teacher will appear? Well, when the student is ready, the resource has appeared. You'll enjoy instant access to the most comprehensive resource for diabetics in one place for one low price. It's a one-stop shop. Just $14.95 a month. That's less than 50 cents a day. Let's make this your breakthrough moment and take your health to the next level. So if you're trying to regain better health and you'd like my help, and if you have questions or were stuck and needed some help, we'll talk or email. I can brainstorm ideas with you. You can go try it and bam! Results! And if we can't find a good answer, we'll network with experts as well as the community. If you need help with mindset or overcoming your fears, I'll be there to help you move through those blocks. No matter what stage you're at in your diabetes, you're going to have help and support. Not just myself, but every other member of this community. It doesn't matter what type of diabetes you're struggling with. We just want to be free to live with diabetes without limitations. When you feel like the results you want won't come, I want to teach you how to move past these problems and to keep going because that's when you experience your biggest moments of triumph and learning. I want the months to come to be the best months you'll ever have. So seize this extremely rare opportunity. Let me help you get there. Even though you're diabetic yourself, you're not diabetic by yourself. So let's do this. Just click the link below right now and join us. It's just $14.95 a month. That's less than 50 cents a day. It's time to take action.